because it's just it's that match practice he showed last season, the level he's capable of. If he gets a chance to do that again, I think you'll see, um, obviously, that there'll be lots more attention on him again. John, please. Uh, Evan, how you doing? Um, whoever spoke after the Greece game, I know you only played him on the boat, but he felt the weight of the short was sort of affecting players. Um, is that a sense you get? Is there a, is there a pressure or is it just something that comes from the fact that it hasn't been a very good run? Yeah, maybe it's probably just from the fact that we've not we've not picked up the results that we've sort of we've sort of wanted. You know what I mean? I think it could be a confidence thing. Like I think when we get the ball rolling and we pick up points and get a few wins, then it could be a, a different story. But I think it's it's easy to look at the negatives when when you're not doing well. And John, um, again, Alan Brown did mention he thought you don't have a world class player when he mentioned the sort of effect of. I know he's sitting beside you, but does Evan have the potential to be world-class? Yeah. <laughs> he just has to get out of the room now. If he goes out of the room, I'll tell you. No, look, I think we all know that what Evan has done already um, at international and at club level. So we just want him back up to speed as quick as we can in terms of uh, fully fit uh, games under his belt and knowing what he can produce. Um, and just getting that consistency going then and then we'll uh, we see the levels he can reach. Callum, thanks. Evan, how are you doing? Is it, is it a case of Brighton that you're still inching back to full fitness or is it a case that there's three top ten or forwards ahead of you that you haven't got the, the minutes you probably want in the last game? Yeah, well, we've got good competition there. Like If you're playing in the Premier League, uh, you're not going to have bad players around you. But I think for me, it's I just need to get back in, getting minutes and playing consistently and trying to get myself back into the team when, when I can. And from what you see from Heimar, do you think you can you can do play the way he wants you to play? You can be the man who is in front alone or how do you can you see yourself fitting into what Heimar has and what's already I think so, yeah. I think all the lads have they've sort of gone into what he wants and we all know what he wants and how he wants us to do it. So I think everyone can chip in and everyone can play the way that he wants it. So I think we just need to wait for it all to click together and I think we'll be good. I mean, Thanks. Yeah. Hey, Evan. Uh, what does Fabian tell you that you need to work on to get into team? Well, there's, there's lots of different things. Obviously, when there's a new manager coming in, it's like international. They try to change pretty much everything. Like it's a new, it's a new way of playing football. So, obviously, me coming back, I've had time to sort of work on my own sort of stuff that I need to do. And listen for me, I'm just trying to stay fit and get back in the team. And just, just Similar to what John said about the weight of the jersey, but do you feel confident coming in, or is it different to Brighton? Yeah, I think everyone feels confident. It's like no one wants to come in and lose two games. You know what I mean? So I think we just need to come together, realize where we are, and go from there. Phil, uh, John, you're very uh, robust in your defence. The players there, and uh, the thing that's been relatively common made of players, whether it's by the media or whoever, but. Uh, um, we've lost our last eight competitive games taking to Gibraltar uh, and there has been a slide in the ranking in the last four or five years so I think, we're, I think what people are doing is reflecting where the team Yeah, now all I was saying was just about a particular area on the pitch where right, people yeah. seem to keep focusing on rather than the group in general Well, we'd all like to wait for the team but do you, do you sense that things are going to turn for the better? Do you think it's going to happen in this window? Yeah, well, that's the key point, and I think Evan just mentioned it there. Like, I, I think it's nearly 28 odd years I've been involved in Irish teams, camps, playing, training, coaching. No one comes in wanting to be negative. No one comes. Everyone comes in wanting to do well for their country. Everyone wants to have positive performances. Everyone wants to win games. Um, and at different spells, you'll have a rough patch. And the only way you get through it is sticking together, working hard. And making sure that everyone in the room, everyone in that squad that's named is together and fully focused on getting results for Ireland. And that comes with hard work, doing the basics right, and then eventually you can implement different bits stage by stage. And if you can do that as quickly as possible, hopefully then slowly the momentum shifts and you get the wins that you need and the positive results that you need. But ultimately, getting the performance levels right behind it is the key bit as well. Heimer spoke to the focus last week. He's a little bit taken aback by the media to focus on him and the Ireland manager. Maybe he didn't realise that you know it's 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 a pretty big gig. 
you been able to sort of just talk them through that? I just told them oh, you're all a lovely bunch, you yeah. know. I said. No, look, it, look, it's obviously he's he's fully aware. And that, that's something. Um, yeah, you, obviously we, we we would have spoken about, but it's just I think as you mentioned as well, the, the England game being obviously the level of exposure behind that as well. So. But no, look, the dedication and sacrifice and uh, application that I've seen from the manager is someone that wants to get big results and quick results for Ireland too. So, um, but there's steps, there's steps to that as well. Aidan? Just for John, just that balance between performances and results, John. You made your debut over Mick and one of Mick's tenants was if he was praised for the team playing well in the defeat, he often said, I wish we played terrible and won. Yeah. For this win, there was an element of that where, where actually results because of the form, results trumps, trumps performance. Yeah, oh, oh look, the, the big one will always be the result ultimately because that's the, the, the massive one. But if you're trying to get new ideas across and to implement them as well, there has to be a balance with that too. But look, we want to win. We're going into these games wanting to win, but ultimately we're wanting to see what we're looking for as well from the group in terms of how we want to win and how we want to go about it too. So it's striking that balance, but ultimately, you, you know, any coach or any manager says, yeah, but the result will be ultimately the key. But if you're telling me now we're going to play terrible and beat Finland, we're going to take it. You're going to tell, you know what I mean? It's obvious. Mark, uh, Evan, just obviously it's been a difficult few months with injury and stuff. What would a what would a goal in this window mean for you? Um, obviously, it's it's good to score goals as a striker. Maybe get me back in into a flow of getting that rhythm and and back scoring goals again and, and what I want to do. But I wouldn't say I'm like going out my way to to score a goal. I'm just playing playing how I'm playing, and I'm not trying to trying to force that. Because I think if you start doing that, then you start overthinking stuff, and you can end up just going backwards. Sure. Evan has gone just just on last season. How frustrating was it to have those few months on the sidelines, and why you're on the sidelines? Like, did you learn anything to play yourself and recovery? Yeah, it's it's obviously not easy as a player, but it's probably the first period that I have of it, and people tell you to expect the up and downs, and when you're in it, it's it's not a nice place. But um, now I'm, I'm out of it now, and and I feel good, and I'm ready to go. Again. Just through talking to Troy there, he said when he kind of came on the scene in 18, 19 at Spurs, said it found the spotlight, the spotlight very difficult. Obviously, it's come up to I think two years since your first Premier League goals and everything that's followed since then. Is, is that some, something you found difficult and I suppose how, how have you handled that personally? I wouldn't really say difficult. I think you sort of, when you're growing up and you go over to academies, you sort of, you see it and you get exposed to it. So I wouldn't say difficult. I'd say it's new and you just have to, to learn to adapt to it, but I'd say once you do, once you do it once, like you sort of, it's always the same thing. Yeah. David, John, you've already kind of gone down a little back and forth about there with some of the comments that that have been made. But is that something that for you and the manager that's been important to me to get that balance between saying what stuff is being said about players on the outside, but also the problems that have happened on the inside? Yeah, uh, look. It yeah, it's, it's all as I mentioned, David. It's the, it's the balance. You you got to know that. Yeah, there has to be um, scrutiny on performance, scrutiny on uh, stuff that we're looking for, um, and then it's obviously the balance then of right. Yeah, we are doing good bits too. So here, it's the good and the bad, and making sure that your consistency. Looking for when pictures are happening in games, that this is what we're looking for. I think that's the key bit, and you have to keep emphasising that. And then you can see it already this morning in terms of the video that the manage, manager showed the lads and little pictures already that the lads pick up in training straight away. You're re, uh, reinforcing ideas for lads that were in the last uh, camp and then for the newer lads to show them the pictures from the training or the, the video this morning and doing it in the training today. So it's getting that balance right, but also moving forward too. Paul, uh, John, you mentioned a few times there about working on a few new things. Do, do you mean since the managers come in, or do you mean new things since last month's game? No, since the, since the managers come in. Yeah, yeah, no, since the managers come in, it's getting those ideas across. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers, man.